In this episode of NSFW, we are joined by Brett the Amtrek around Seville. He tries to raise money for his brand new comic, The Provider. Will he get to reach his goal? You're going to have to tune in to find out. Also, we thank Charlie Sheen for joining Twitter and rewrite Brett's crappy book that he's raising the dumb money for. It's all coming up on this edition of NSFW. <laughs> Netcasts you love From people you trust This is Twit Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com This is NSFW episode 65 for March 1st, 2011 what is wrong with your face? This episode of NSFW brought to you by squarespace.com slash NSFW. Head on over there right now. Sign up for your free two-week trial and keep our little show floating on a sea of dollars. This is what happens when juries attack. And it drives me nuts is when it starts to, first of all, it says that CNN is the most likely to get the first uh, uh, the first take, which is great. I mean, I think it's great. It'd be great to get CNN on my iPhone or wherever I am. Yeah, like a live but, streaming channel of CNN, which, wait a minute, I can kind of get that already, but I would get the I would get the on-air version, not just yes, the secondary exactly. versions. Exactly. And then, uh, but then down the road, oh my God, <laughs> Justin Robbio just ran in and licked my face. That actually just happened. Those of you on the audio version, that was the slurping noise you just heard. Uh, yeah. And I'm going to say with that little bit of professionalism, it's now go time for a little gem we like to call NSFW, the new show full of wind, the new sauce for the Weber Nets. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, joined as always by my inimitable, very licacious co-host. Keeper of the golden tongue himself, Mr. J.R.Y. Justin Robert Young. How are you doing, everybody? What's going on? Holy crap, Brian. I'm so excited. My belly's a churning with butterflies and four leprechauns holding hands and singing songs together. It's just That's you want what's to going on in my life. <laughs> what on earth in the middle of me doing frame rate is like, like mm, you know what I think would add spice to this little review program of movies and television is uh, if I jump in and lick one of the hosts. And also, well, why do you talk to yourself in that weird British accent? Well, it's my inner monologue, and I appreciate if you stay out of my GD head, Brian. Um, <laughs> you know, I, you're doing the show in my in, in, in the warehouse, and you're sitting in the chair that I'm sitting in, and I was just like, like, oh, you know what? He's talking. He sounds like he's doing a great show in there. I'm going to go lick his face. <laughs> so <we did. laughs> that's a natural uh, move. Yeah, so, so that, that's what we did. But, Brian, enough of all those lickety-loo shenanigans. We're yes. focusing on the here and now, and we uh, are proud to reintroduce, ladies and gentlemen, a, a founding member of, uh, you know, this movement. Ladies and gentlemen, Brett the Amtrek rounds of Oh, man, I miss you guys so much. Where have you been all my life? You know and where we've all been? All my life, I mean, for the last month and a half. Well, for the last month and a half is calling you every week yeah. saying, can we, <laughs> can we have you on this week? Can we have you on this week? Can we have you on this week? And finally, you are ready to come uh, on the show. We'll explain why uh, in a moment here, though. But look how happy today is now that I am here. Sometimes you withhold the pudding because of the meat, and then the pudding is all the sweeter or something about the wall. I, uh, you know what? That makes perfect sense to me. Um, <laughs> exactly. Well, here, here's the deal, Brian. We're going to get into all of this, including if you listened to last week's show, the fallout of uh, Brian's NACA 2011 uh, shenanigans from last week. <laughs> Resolution, sir. I'm excited yes. to hear that so story. The, the nuclear fallout. Let's see how 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 many meals his children are going to have to skip by his actions last week. Uh, also, we're going to be uh, helping fundraise for Brett. He has a really awesome Kickstarter that we're going to talk about in just two seconds, and we are going to give him tips on how he can make that project that much better. And we're going to welcome Charlie Sheen to Twitter. But what I want let's also, get into talking meditative. About Happy Tom Merritt is yes. on the wings, ready to go at any time. I just, I got a random t on this. I'm going to jump over to him periodically throughout the whole thing. Hopefully okay. that'll make things better. 
For those, yeah, check check the BBPD if you're an audio listener to see what Brian <laughs> keeps flashing to. It's going to make us giggle throughout the show. Uh, Zen Merritt, of course. Zen Merritt. <laughs> Zen. Yeah, Zen Merritt. Now that's DJM in the, in, in the chat room <laughs> with that line. Uh, all right, but here's the deal. Brett, you have a, a really awesome project. Uh, why don't you talk to us about it real quick? Uh, I'm pretty stoked. So it's a comic book. And most importantly, I can't wait to find out how it ends. Because clearly, I am not the writer so much as Brian and Justin are today. <laughs> but <laughs> only the children's service. For good or for <laughs> ill. There we uh, go. The first issue... I do have pinned, and it's super exciting. It's about this guy who has superpowers, and instead of being a hero or a villain, he is an insurance salesman. Okay. Um, do you want to roll this that This is a comic, right? just to set up for people. Like, yeah. It's a comic book that you are writing. Yeah, you wrote, you wrote a comic book, and you want to make it hyper-realistic. Because realistically, you, if so, somebody does want to go around and do good, but if you're a single father and you got a kid to provide for, you don't want to do it for free, right? So what's a reasonable way is you get yourself some clients, and you save them a lot, right? Right. So uh, everyone that signs on to his premium insurance policies gets this fancy high-tech watch. And if they're ever in trouble, they just beep this dude and he swoops in and saves the day. Yeah. And you were describing the opening scene. You got some highfalutin business. Or can, I, can I spoil it? Can I, can I describe the opening scene? Yeah. Three pages. All, all for you. This is, this, is what, this is what sold me on the idea. The opening scene is at a big party on top of a building and somebody's showing off to his friends so he hits the button, the rescue me button, and jumps off the side of a building just to get, uh, just to get scooped up by, uh, what, what's the name of our hero in this? Uh, Luke, but uh, the title is The Provider. So that's kind of his uh, nickname, I guess. By The Provider. The Provider yeah. rescues him. And so, uh, but the idea, so you already have the whole first five episode story arc totally completed, right? Yeah, first four totally completed. And it is one whole arc. Yeah, totally. And so, and the deal is, is you, you were saying that now you've been talking about this for how long? Uh, ever. Uh, probably, <laughs> pro realistically, probably uh, five years. I probably wrote the very first draft five years ago and it sucked. And it was, it combined the first two whole issues into one issue and it was you're a not, huge mess, but a great idea. It. Hey, talking yeah. about how bad your script sucks, not selling us sucked. on the idea. No. Said, also, also, he wrote a sucked. Vespa instead of flying. <laughs> and um, he had a pop gun that he would just like he would fire also, off and he wasn't so good times. at saving people. He just he wasn't, intended to he let him so die. Much a single dad as a pedophile. So there was <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he was one of those like really in your face pedophiles. Like he would make jokes in like crowded laundromats. Like, hey, look at the butt on that one. Okay, Am I okay, right? Am I right, <laughs> gentlemen? Gentlemen, can I remind you that I don't want to drag NSFWs down with whatever this first draft <laughs> is you guys are writing? Okay. Uh, so, so, so like so I was saying, go. first draft, not so hot. All right, but look. over the course of five years, it became amazing, and I am super excited about it. Okay, so for those of you guys just tuning in, and we wanted to lead off with this because we have a very special challenge. Uh, first of all, uh, Brett has a number of badass extras that you get if you give, like, as they often do with the well, Kickstarter. Well, this is on Kickstarter. Yeah. I don't think it's, we've said that, It's right? a Kickstarter, This is on yeah. Kickstarter. Go to Kickstarter, do a search for The Provider. Don't search for Amtrekker or Brett Rounceville because those will turn up nothing because some <laughs> idiot refused to put those as search terms because he, like, wanted this to be hard for everyone to find. So huh. instead, it's what you want to do is search The it. Provider and you will find this right here and you will see that as of this moment right now live, he has 51 backers. Uh, and actually, Brian, that's false. What? You're already lying to the audience. I'm already lying. Go, go ahead and go ahead and refresh that bad boy. I got to refresh quick. it? Yeah, because oh. we already have 55 backers. What? For $3,173. Wow. In the bank. In the bank. Hot His dang. goal Hot is 4000 Now, here's the deal. There's 23 days to go in this Kickstarter, but if we get to $4,000, here tonight. Tonight. And this is an NSFW exclusive. Now, all these other things in here, you have $5 or more, you get a, a thank you and your name on the back of the uh, the back of the book. $10, you get more stuff. $25, there's a huge, gigantic blockbuster option for $4,000 where Brett dresses up as Spider-Man and makes uh, makes stuff in your... And what are you doing, Brett? You, it seems like you got, a lot of, you got a lot of whipped cream there, huh? Hmm? Huh? Yeah. Oh, well, you know, it'd be really crazy if as an NSFW exclusive, what we did... <laughs> is if we get to $4,000 by the end of this show, right here tonight, folks, only for you guys watching live and those who download this on iTunes and elsewhere, Brett will get hit in the face with a whipped cream pie. <laughs> 
What? <laughs> yes, Brett. You didn't You're tell him. Get... You didn't tell him what it was for. You just told him to buy no. whipped cream, didn't you? I just told him to buy whipped cream and to take whips <laughs> while I was doing the intro. He is going to get a big fat pie to the face. The old cream pie, as you the don't... internet likes to talk about. Uh, right I... here on this show. Uh, let me just say, let me just what? say, if this does happen, and I hope it does, uh, I hope that people do carve out the footage of Brett getting a pie in the face. However, I strongly, strongly encourage nobody to try to find the clip of Brett getting a pie in the face by searching NSFW cream pie, because that will not end well. <laughs> what if we own that, though? What if that, like, every time whenever anybody else was like, oh, I would like to find me some NSFW cream pie. They're like, why is this guy getting a pie in a random warehouse in Oakland? <laughs> we just SEO'd the S out of that. <laughs> Okay, so, so many pages. Yo, oh. <laughs> uh, okay, so we are right now. Uh, we're still at fifty-five backers, three thousand one hundred seventy-three dollars. I tell you what, I'm actually going to donate a hundred bucks right now. And in fact, I'm going to let you. Oh, it's Fender. Donate a hundred dollars. I see that clearly I have to dispose of this whipped cream as quickly as possible. No, you better not. Bro. Oh, no, no, no. You better hold on down. to that. Get that cream right out of your mouth. <laughs> Get it on the ground. All right. I tell you what, uh, Justin, you, why don't you talk to the nice people? I'm going to donate 100 bucks right now. All right. Okay. Well, Brian's donating. Uh, we're going to, uh, in just a few minutes, get into the fallout from Brian's uh, NACA 2011 adventures last week. But, Brett, you know, this, this Charlie Sheen character has been scampering all around causing mischief, breaking pots and pans and everybody. Yeah, Mighty Ducks guy. Yeah, no, 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 no. no, that's, no, his no. That's, that's his brother. That's Emilio Estevez is who you're thinking of. His brother is uh, mm, Charles mm. Sheen. Oh, yeah. the guy from uh, from that one movie with the garbage men. Men at work. Yes, with his brother, Emilio Estevez. Yeah, yes, wait. no. Yeah, he no, was no, no, no. I'm thinking of the guy from uh, wait, Young Guns. Way to keep the bit going. <laughs> <laughs> I was creating a new bit. <laughs> All oh, right, okay. let's back up a bit. <laughs> okay, so Carlos Irvin Estevez, also known as Charlie Sheen, has been going on this massive downward spiral. I don't even know what downward spiral. He's spiraling. It might be uh, exactly in a line. It might be downward. It might even be upward. No one really, really knows. He's gotten off drugs, and he's done about a million and a half interviews, and he's been a quote machine for about the last week. And today, while we record this episode, he joined Twitter, which I, I think you know is exciting for, for, for us here, guys like me, Brett, and Brian. Because now it's like Charlie Sheen comes into our neck of the woods. Before he's doing all these, you know, Piers Morgan, Good Morning America, the Today Show. Now he's here in our humble little Hamlet. Which is why I think what we should do right here on this episode is uh, do me a favor. If you've been listening to his interviews, and, and please, I, I recommend you listen to all of them. Like they're the Beatles anthology over and over and over <laughs> and over again. Um, and just go ahead and, and maybe uh, something that you've learned from his wise words over the last couple of days, and just hashtag, thanks, Charlie. Yes. Like, for example, like, um, I have flaming fists of fury. Thanks, Charlie. Hashtag or, uh, it. Uh, it turns out I'm made of tiger blood. Thanks, thanks Charlie. Charlie. Do you have one here, Fred? <laughs> uh, I just got my pinky caught in my fly. Again. Thanks, Charlie. <laughs> thanks, Charlie. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so we're going to do me a favor, people in the chat room. Uh, keep an eye on that hashtag, and uh, and let's let's uh, we'll, we'll we'll pop in periodically with some of the funniest of that. But uh, yeah, duh, winning, winning by yeah. by winning. I win over here, or, I win over there, win everywhere. Yeah. I right. know what you're trying to say. Yeah, Brian, I am on a drug. It's called Charlie Sheen, and you can't <laughs> handle it. Your hand will explode. Like whoa, what was that? And a lot of people gawking at you like armless children. Uh, so it turns out that I don't remember my password to Amazon, and that's what's making it difficult for me to... Oh, wait, nope, I just figured it out, and I got it. And now, hold on, I'm about to pay... I'm keeping the camera on you, because I don't want to accidentally show my credit card information here. <laughs> let's, Pledging... try, but like, let's, let's see if we can get really close to showing your credit card information. Okay, you, you know what? If uh, This is going to be me daring to... This is, this is chicken right there. Pledging $100... 
to the provider issue one on click, click, Kickstar uh, take two. Okay, Kickstarter. put it back there and, sc and scroll down and up, and then no, nope. nope. not gonna happen. Hold on, what? wait a minute. There we go. Just what? like that, I am now an official backer of the provider issue now, one. Now, what do you, what do you get for a hundred? Uh, you know right. what? I actually picked nothing. I actually said it said what? what? Which of the awards do you want? I was like, eh, don't even worry about it. Just you, give me nothing. Why would you do such a thing? Because I so love you, sir. Oh. oh. All right, oh, we'll check man. back on it later. Dude, you're still going to get a pie in the face. It's going to be amazing. Uh, it's, it's looking pretty bad because all of these come in through my email as they're happening. And uh, I don't have anything on the first page except the word Kickstarter. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, we are, all, we are already at 3,496. 3, uh, no, you're, you're a liar. You are oh. a liar and a liar because we're actually at 3,506. <laughs> well, actually, Brian, you're a filthy liar because we're at 3,507. Wow. This is great. And yeah, and even those $1 ones, just I want to get a pie in his face so bad. Oh, oh my no, God. So I don't suppose that you guys also have whipped cream nearby as like a display of solidarity of some kind, right? I mean, because you both self-professed lovers of Wait Brett. A minute. Like you just on. said. Love me. Brett. And now, right, solidarity, solid. Oh. <laughs> was, that, was, that, was, that, was that a masked yes. <laughs> gesture that you just gave him? That was, that was, by the way, only fish could see my true, <laughs> <laughs> my true message to Brett. All right. Well, look, real, real quick. Now that I've gotten my donation in there, uh, people are wanting to know. You would not believe how many people called last week's train wreck. The best, and, and this is the negative reinforcement I get. Where it's like, whenever everything goes totally wrong, and I just think the NSFW is the worst thing that ever popped out of my brain. Those oh, are the episodes I'm that people sorry. say. Hold on, oh, Brett, Brett, let's all get together and play our violins. As the man who is the number one tr Twitter uh, trending topic is going to talk about how awful last Tuesday was. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. I we're we're doing mouth violins. <laughs> Don't do that. No, that's that's that Asian guy that lives on the corner with the saw thing. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm a, my mouth violin is set to Asian right now. <laughs> okay, but if I can remind people who didn't see last week, the way we ended with last week was with the horrific realization. <laughs> Brian in a fetal position on the floor of Tingle Loop's basement, <laughs> going, why? Why? <laughs> well, the whole, the whole thing was, is we, we were, thought we were doing a little puckish prank to promote NACA, and then we just got so many responses from my agent saying, like, dude, everyone's pissed. This is the end of your career. Way to go. You're, you're going to die homeless and alone. And um, Wow, uh, you're Asian. Not, I, not real positive. I am... <laughs> I immediately assumed that, like, we had accidentally ruined a showcase because they were displaying tweets or something. And I, when I, I mean, I'm, I was speed racing straight on back. I didn't even, I left all my equipment at Giga Loop's house. I'm like, I'll get it in the morning. And I'm like, you know, da -da 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 back to the, back to the place. I show up, not only. really funny. I'm like, in your panicked, like, state, you were actually still driving and just, like, really angry, like, that's how it felt for damn sure. <laughs> so we sh I show up and I look around. And, and so the first thing I ask, I was like, hey, are they displaying the tweets? He's like, what are you talking about? I was like, the NACA tweets. <laughs> the the Glengarry Gleeds. Where are they? <laughs> Where are the NACA tweets? And so, uh, and so are they displaying them? They're like, no, not at all. And so that was the biggest thing is like I did not affect anyone else's showcase. I was like, oh, all right. The only people who saw it were people who were supposed to be watching the showcase but were busy farting on their tweeters instead. So like that was already a big deal. <laughs> and then thank you to Chat Realm who quantified exactly how many people complained. And out of all of Twitter, out of the 3,200 total tweets that said NACA 20, 2011, how many of them do you think were complaining, Justin? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say 5,000. Uh, that's, that's more than the 3,200 tweets. That's more people than there were tweets. You, you that, get... that was actually my guess, too, though. So, yeah. Well, right. then who's right? Well, you both Wisdom lose. Wisdom of the crowds, You right? both yep. lose. The by... democracy of stupidity. <laughs> the chat room is betting $1. By Price is Right rules, they would win because you guys were <laughs> over. The total number of complainers was eight.
and I personally wrote each of them explaining that we were trying to promote NACA with a little hashtag and apologized if we inconvenienced or whatever. But it was just like, oh, my God. It was like in that moment, I was so wound tight. Now, however, having said that, that's <laughs> no reason that you shouldn't go ahead and contact your student activities board at your nearest college and tell them how great the show is and tell them that you shouldn't have it. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, wait. Wait, what? wait a minute. That, wait, wait a minute. Right? That's still. There it is. That doesn't stop the show. Stop right. We're at I only looked away for a second. We're no, at, wait, I wait, wait a minute. Wait for a second. I can't Brian, be right. What's Brian, up? What's up? Can you please refresh? I'm refreshing. And what? Yes. I looked away for a second. For a second. I'm so torn. In some ways, I'm so proud and so excited. And in other ways, there's this huge bottle of whipped cream right here. Chat rooms, shout me water cream bottle. <laughs> Brett, ladies and gentlemen, breaking news on the floor of NSFW. We now go live to an interview with Brett the Amtrak around the bill live via satellite. Brett, your dreams have just come true. You will actually produce the comic book for which you've been dreaming over the last five years. He seriously looks like he's to about say. to cry, man. He seriously <laughs> looks like he's about to cry. And Colleen is definitely <laughs> dead. I don't think. <laughs> no, that's yeah. not what they wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, there's just a fistful of cream right on Brett's face. She shot it right in his eye. Oh, my God. That was awesome. That was awesome. They're saying they want more. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you what. I think that, you know, we, we've gone way over 4,000. Maybe uh, for every, for every what, 100 or 200? Yeah, for every 100, it takes another pie in the face. In the face. Yeah. That for would already 100. be two more. Wait, well, I mean, after. <laughs> oh, wait, you time out. That. Look, here's the thing. Not real good at math. Maybe we should just disregard whatever. I, I, I think you're right. I think that means at least two more. At least possibly two more. Even more than that. So let's. So see. by the way, as as Brett says in his video, uh, all the money that that's going to go do it, anything above four thousand is going to go to future issues. Uh, I I can I can vouch for the fact that I've read through the uh, I've, re I've read the scripts. These are all super super excellent. Keep donating to Brett's Kickstarter. Uh, I am so proud of chat room that we were able to make this happen. I if am, you are I listening blown to this. Away. I am no joke 128% blown away. <laughs> I had no idea that one, it would happen uh, tonight and two, that it would happen that quickly. I literally looked at Jury because he was, you know, making an A of himself like he does. <laughs> and then uh, I looked down at the computer and there were four thousand and two and five dollars four thousand yeah. two hundred and five dollars and uh all right let's I, talk i'm, I'm honest more, to god blown away like let, thank you guys so much and i hate you all for the whipped cream so, uh well guess what you got oh, two more of them coming so <laughs> well you have to talk that. to colleen about that because, colleen uh, colleen if she's listening colleen two more sneak attacks in fact go and take the cream from them and twice yes. more throughout the episode you get to sneak attack them and please yeah just please make sure that uh, the camera's on him much like oh this is Kind of informed by my licking your face during frame rate. Okay, let's, make not, sure let's not she combine has the headphones cream headphones on, and I don't know if they are headphones for you or not. Oh, I <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think they might have been headphones for you. I think okay. she might have been listening to the show. I think well, I might need good. to be scared take, right now. Please, please take his cream from him. Please disarm <laughs> the man of his cream. Awesome. Um, so, so NACA, huh? What, what uh, about this NACA thing? Uh, you <laughs> know what? <laughs> talking about so much it uh it worked out just fine and everything is just fine and chat realm is amazing and uh hey justin why don't we take a short break while this guy cleans that junk off of his face and talk about uh, the people who make nsfw possible oh my god brian i am so excited because i just got i just laid you know i'll tell you i've been blogging for for a, a number of years no you i guess like seven seven years now i've, no. been, I've been blogging and I've, I've run a couple different kind of websites i've run media criticism websites, from magic websites, from news of the weird websites. Uh, and I'm starting a new website uh, on uh, my new uh, Squarespace account. I don't know if you heard of Squarespace, but it's a fantastic platform for which you can build your website. Never heard of it. And, uh, you know, it, it's it's scaled hosting, so you never go down no matter how popular uh, your And how come your, I haven't heard of them is. if they're so great? Why have I never heard of them? Well, 
that's because you're functionally retarded, Brian. And, uh, you know, it's you spend too much time doing the Wizard of Oz uh, Wicked Witch of the West theme song while you're driving from point A to point B. You don't have time to open your GD ears and understand the wonders of the world, including Squarespace.com. It's so easy to manage and to make look like your own. You can be a CSS wizard or just a big dumb poop like me. And you can make <laughs> your website look pretty as a, as a hog doing a tap dance on top of a flying wheel. You know, I don't know what. Here's the deal, uh, Brian. In my in my career as a blogger, every once in a while you just see these uh, these just sterling pieces of information. You just know that's gonna be a million hits, guaranteed, guaranteed, guaranteed. guaranteed. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and I I just found one of those uh, those little nuggets uh, just now, and and uh, it's gonna it's gonna really be great on my new site. Brett's cream pie dot squarespace dot com. Oh yeah, so this this will have like photoshops and and photo screen grabs of when Brett took that cream pie in the face, right? Yeah, yeah. When Brett experienced that cream pie, um, that is what's going to be on Brett's cream pie dot squarespace dot com. That's yeah. awesome. Now, what happens if it gets like super popular, right? And all of a sudden, everyone wants to check out Brett's cream pie. Like, let's say there's a segment of the population that really, really, really would get excited about the search term Brett's cream pie. <laughs> um, you know, then uh, as we see Charlie Sheen tossing a gigantic cream pie towards Brett in Photoshop. Well, you want to know what, Brian? Nothing's going to happen. We were going to keep enjoying that sweet, delicious man's cream pie uh, <laughs> because Squarespace never goes down. It just keeps staying up. There's a... Uh, you know, super distributed hosting. So all that traffic finds a home and you never get any kind of crazy, like, oops, it got dug or it got rid of it or got daring fireballed. Um, you yeah. know, it, it's always up there. Thanks to Squarespace. Well, and uh, well, now what about making it look pretty, right? Like what if you're not a CSS with, oh, well, first of all, where can people go and they can support this show while they test out this fantastic web platform? I'm so excited. That you asked me that, Brian, because squarespace.com slash NSFW is the place that you're going to need to go to make sure that you can experience the wonderment, the, the delight, the thrilling escapades of squarespace.com. Uh, do me a favor, sign up now. No credit card required. You get your first 14 days gratis on the house. Just you're try it. Toss it out there. Yeah. Just throw it on the table like that. Ba Boom. Yeah. And uh, you get it for free. No credit card. You can just rock and roll immediately. Um, yeah, so, so head on up there, squarespace.com slash NSFW and, uh, you know, uh, make your own squarespace.com and don't forget to visit Brett's cream pie dot squarespace.com. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Look, now that we've made you a success, now that you're a media mogul, first of all, by the way, running count, you're up to three pies in the face coming at you <laughs> when you least expect it, Brett. <laughs> I don't like it anymore. I don't want to write a comic book. That's called the burden of success, and you suck it up and you take it, sir. That's how uh, this is going to work. I'm now, sorry. people are people are asking, um, what happens if you get over 5,000? Do you have any kind of, uh, you want to put anything else out on the line? You want to throw your hat over the wall on 5K? Oh, because over 5,000, that means he gets to hit his second goal of offset printing, which will look even better and be more cost effective. What that is could true. he do for us? Monkey. <laughs> monkey, monkey. <laughs> what will you do with us for us with a camera and whipped cream? The chat realm wants to write an issue for you. <laughs> issue five. It's yeah. written by the chat room. Yeah. The five band. Uh, that sounds like a fiery crane crash waiting to happen. Crane crash. You know, like uh, those birds that uh, fly through fire. <laughs> when they crash, you like the two cranes on fire. You know, fiery crane crash happens all the time. <laughs> <laughs> What's great uh, is in the chat room, pretty jumbled shells. No, I want it to be good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> I win again. All right. Uh, so well, I, I do have right, a pair on, of pants and an extra bottle of whipped cream. So there's that. Oh, you'll take you'll take a pants load of cream. <laughs> I. No, you said I'm those really words. Bad at you, math. You, that's clearly where again. you just said it. <laughs> you just said it. You heard it. If we get him, not hey, only is oh, he owed cream. that many pies in the face, hey, but you will take oh, a crotch full of no, cream. Really bad at math. I thought 3,000 something and then got confused because yes. pants on fire and he the said, wall. It's, it's official. He will allow Colleen to cream his pants. That's how, <laughs> that's how this goes. Uh, all right. So, Justin. Damn you, Charlie Sheen. <laughs> 
So I'll tell you what, let's actually talk about what this comic book is going to be. Uh, you know, we talked a little bit about the plot. It's called The Provider. Uh, Brett, we want you to go ahead issue by issue. Me and Brian are going to give you uh, some tips on what we believe the plot should be. So uh, how about I, I will give you uh, the individual titles and maybe the three main characters. How does sure. that sound? All okay. right. Okay. And, yeah. And, so, and, uh, and if, if I may remind everyone that uh, like this is pretty much like what we did with our Oscar picks, right? With the Oscar buzzworthy movies, we yeah. summed up the plot as we saw it happening. And what, usually whatever, you just got to tell us whether, whether what we had come up with is better than your idea or not. And we all know it will be. Sure. Yeah, yeah, it could be. You never know. You know, the thousand monkeys on typewriters. Sure. Happens. All right. Uh, you, right, you want to get sassy about it, cream face. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you what. Maybe you know, I'm a thousand monkeys. We're, we're, trying, we're trying to work some magic for you. For okay. you. Falling right Premiums is the title right. of the first issue. Falling, Falling Premiums. premiums. The okay. protagonist, Mr. Luke Ryan, also known as the provider. The antagonist, okay. Doyle, one of the richest, most powerful men in America. And the second protagonist, Jen, Luke's lovely assistant. Jen, a female. Mm. Also, all of these names subject to change based on uh, $500 and $250 donations. All right. Well, first of all, those names are out the window. Those are retarded. But <laughs> the new names are uh, uh, the Jerbs is the assistant. Oh, come on. No. Why not? <laughs> No, because I didn't, I didn't donate that much. Well, you I, you're donating money. your idea, which is so much better. <laughs> well, okay, well, go ahead then. Okay, so the Jerbs is the assistant, and the, and the antagonist is, um, uh, uh, her name is Colleen. Justin, where do we take it from there? All right, well, it's falling premiums. So it's probably going to be like, like a double entendre, right? You know? So, um... What's premium? We got to think of something premium. A really nice shake. Milkshake. Hmm. So like, what if it's uh, the world's, the world's largest, uh, I don't know, supply of shake, shake fluid. <laughs> <laughs> shake fluid. You know what? We need, All right. we need more monkeys. That. You know what? Monkeys. Call the monkey factory. <laughs> no, here we go. So it all, listen, open, opening frame. That right. whole guy falling off the thing, boring snoozeville. Right, next up. Open up on a food drop plane over Zimbabwe. Yes. I don't yes. even know if we're dropping food in Zimbabwe, but we are now. If we are in reality, why are they doing it? I don't know. Turn the page. See, there's no losing here. Duh, winning. Uh, <laughs> okay. Push out. A gigantic pallet of the world's most premium $4,000 an ounce shake fluid. Who uses this shake fluid? I don't know. Turn the page. Again, see, we're creating mystery in the first frame, right? <laughs> go on. I'm, I'm hooked, man. I mean, you want me to pick it up from there? Yes. No, go. Come okay, on. Help no. me out. We're, then, we're spitballing here. Then all of a sudden, you cut immediately. Next frame shows a poor child in Zimbabwe who uh, who is trying to scare his friends with his fake voodoo, right? And he's okay. all just like, I summon forth this, the angels and they're going to eat your soul or whatever, right? And at that moment, a la yeah. Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We have our second cream pie. <laughs> this is the second, best second pie in the face for, uh, for Brett. Then it My cuts. My whole world smells like whipped cream right now. <laughs> I, I can't imagine why. I know, it's all over your shirt. <laughs> so, <laughs> so right, uh, go ahead. I'll have Ghostbusters. Yeah, all, all of a sudden, just it just pours just all over them, right? And then, but the kids taste it, and they're like, "Oh, this is the best cream pie ever." Uh, I mean, milkshake ever. This is the best milkshake right. ever. <laughs> I don't you know, know where this is means, going, Justin. Right? You got to save this right now. <laughs> No, no, no. Okay. So, uh, no, but here's the thing. I, I like your idea, uh, but it only gets on, on uh, one kid. And this one kid's like, oh, my God, this is the best thing ever. And then they look up, and all they see is a gigantic like, cloud of it falling down. And that's when our protagonist, uh, what was his name? Luke. 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 Luke has a gigantic Brian bag. Brian is his name. 
and bags all of it. We're not making you the hero. Shut up. <laughs> Come on. This is all right. Fine. <laughs> he bags all of it, right? And he takes it away. So uh, somebody tried to dump all this premium shake fluid all over Zimbabwe, and he saved it. Flies over and delivers it back to where where it belonged. And the guy's like, "Well, I'm, I'm sure glad I I hit my button, so you saved that shake fluid." And he's like, "Oh, did I?" And then he accidentally drops it in a river and just ruins it. <laughs> Why? Because he's like punk rock and he hates them, or what? I don't know. Next page. Why do you do that? It's a real thing to keep. do. Uh, all right. What do you say? Is that gold or what? Could you stop? Um, I think what impresses me most about your guys' story is how similar it is to mine. It's kind of creepy. Like, I knew that we were all kind of on the same wavelength. We've all been hanging out for a long time, and we all kind of like great minds, right? But wow. Wow. All right. Well, well, here we go. I think we got the first issue. That, that's enough for the first issue. Let's go with the yeah. second issue. What, what's, what's the name of the second issue? Well, the second in issue introduces... The villain, Jeremy, okay. and another, uh, how do we say, uh, protagonist helper, Jason okay. DeLuca. And Jason the title, Jay. Assessments. 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 All right, Brian, you start off. Just give me, all I need is an all opening right, no, frame. Here it goes. I need an Luke, opening frame. Luke gets a, an audit form in the mail, right? Not for taxes. But for his superpowers, because you can't just go around offering, claiming you got superpowers just because you fly around. Somebody's got to measure all that. He needs to pass his assessments, right? Yeah, here we go. So it just says, it's just a big envelope. It just says assessments for Luke, right? Yeah, exactly. And then he shows up, though, and it's like all of a sudden all the bigger superheroes are teasing him, right? Because he's younger than they are and just got started. And they have to shower together. Right. <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. That's what you do before the assessments, bro. <laughs> I, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. And then, by the way, uh, and it's it's like it's because they're all superheroes. They don't have shame like mortals, like like me and you. There's uh, <laughs> the four thousand dollar milkshake. Right? Like me and Brian are the cherries. <laughs> I'm sorry. You were saying. Go ahead. Uh, uh, and by the way, this is where we can get a little bit of that. Because Brett, I don't know if you, I don't know if you knew this, but like you know, the comic books. Yeah, sure. They're they're ostensibly about heroes and, and, you know, moral oligarchies and that kind of storytelling. Really, it's about the TNA. Listen, you got to get a girl in some spandex or kind of naked. This is where, uh, you know, our, our heroes are, are shower before their assessments. Maybe just, I don't know, we find a reason. Like, uh, you know, there's a kind of a big bang over off to the left. Your story just kind of pans over all the female superheroes. They're showering mm, right over shower. there. You're so, like, uh... Yes, comic books are very visual medium. Uh, they have some TNA, but they're also uh, rife with these tropes. And you're talking about these superheroes and these super heroines or yeah. heroine. But sure. uh, what are their names? You still have to give labels to these heroes and, and her her heroines. Bri Brian and Justin. That's their names. Brian, <laughs> Brian and Justin. <laughs> that's your best am, superhero name is Brian and Justin. Uh, it, okay, Brian it's Bri and Brian Justin. Jerbs. I'm sorry, that's what I meant. Bri Brian Jerbs is what they are. <laughs> Bri Brian Jerbs. Yeah, Bri Brian Jerbs. In fact, they're a superhero. two-headed superhero called. Why do Bri we Bri keep Jerbs. putting our names on? The, all right, how about they run into superheroes named Bri Brian Jerbs? So, like at the assessments, they meet the, the comic foils of Bri Brian Jerbs. So, so what, what's with Bri Brian's uh, uh, special power? His special power is that he could eat a lot of potato chips, like in one sitting. And it'll blow your mind. Watch. Hum, hum, <laughs> hum, hum, okay. And hum. the Germs' is, uh, special power is that he just, uh, he has a really, really, really loud exclamation about Brian's ability to eat <laughs> potato chips. <laughs> like, like he goes, whoa! He has whoa so loud that it like busts windows and like flips <laughs> over cars and then See, stops bank robberies. That's how well, like, like, so the bank is Here's, 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 here's what we show it. We, we illustrate it is you just see like two frames of like mouth closed on the gerbs mm -hmm. and then open and it's like, it kind of gets closer. You just see the sound waves just reverberating <laughs> and it just kind of extends. It's like slow motion. Like by the time he gets the verse, like, oh my God. 
<laughs> like <laughs> every window shatters. They you know, like cut to other cities across the world, like Times Square, all the windows. <laughs> Hong Kong. <laughs> you know that that kid in Zimbabwe is now walking back to his little his house in the middle of like a little suburb. <laughs> the one window shatters. But the trick and then the is the final trick is frame. The, the final frame in that page is Brian going, "Oh, sorry." <laughs> well, that's just it. Is the only thing that can induce that that gerbs the gerbs voice is the amazement of watching me eat all those potato chips. We're like a duo. That's like yeah. we're, we're useless without each other, right? Oh, Absolutely. That's, yeah. that's a really good power as long as you're fighting someone super slow and far away from you. <laughs> All right, so I think that's pretty much enough for the second issue. I think we've pretty much filled the plot uh, there. No more, yeah, nowhere yeah, else to go. So. Uh, uh, so, so, so let's go ahead, third issue. The third issue, um, no new major characters, but the title is Deductibles. Deductibles. Deductible. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Uh, I, think, I think at this point, right, we completely switched the focus of the comic book from Luke <laughs> blah, 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 no, no, Brian Ryan the Germs. Oh, it, really is, it really is about Brian Ryan the Germs. Because what happens is, is well, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you just definitely get pied? <laughs> it looks like Colonel Sanders. It was a total bait and switch, too. <laughs> like, oh, oh, thank you. By the way, for the audio listeners, the reason why Brett sounds muffled is because his microphone is covered in cream. <laughs> And for the record, folks, we are now at $4,500. So there's three more of them coming in the final 15 minutes. Three more to go. Three more to go. All right. So, uh, caller, fix your, fix your microphone here. Yeah, please. Come All on. Right, Justin. It's unprofessional. So anyway. And trim that goatee of yours. <laughs> You've spontaneously grown of white hair. All right. So, Justin, Bri Brian Jerbs, right? Yeah. They uh, uh, they end up falling in with a bad gang at superhero school because at this point we've dropped Luke altogether and it's just no, about Brian he's, Brian out. he's done. Who cares about superhero that school, right? Yeah. He's so, been deducted, if you will. That's well, oh, well, okay. Well, okay. Hey, you steal my bit? Can you clean your clean your <laughs> collar? Clean your microphone. Oh. <laughs> and here I thought I was bringing it back around ever so slightly. <laughs> no, you sound like you're under a whipped cream sundae. Clean <laughs> your microphone. <laughs> Uh, okay, so Bri Bri and Jerbs fall in with some bad kids who are into cutting off their fingers. Like, that's, that's the way oh, they okay. show how punk they are, right? And they call it the deductible. And then they, they deduct. <laughs> They're like, show us them digits. And then, like, the less of them you have, the cooler you are, right? So Bri Bri and Jerbs, they okay. learn a very... It's only after Brian has cut off all of his fingers and... A no, 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 wait, no, 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 you, you got you to have one left. You got to have, you, you, you can't be the coolest guy because the coolest guy. Well, that's just it. Is, the gang. Brian is in, Bri Bri is in such a hurry to please his new jerk friends. He just cuts off all his fingers and it's no, not no, no, until no, no, there's no, a can't. bank robbery. Why? You what? can't, you can't, you can't. And here's why, because we need to get there. Like that's got to be the tension. The tension is whether or not you go, like you can have one finger left because the coolest guy in school is old biscuit fit, <laughs> and he's got no fingers. Okay, so I get down to one. I mean, Bri Bri gets down to one finger, and yeah. then a bank gets robbed. And you're like, "Come on, Bri Bri!" I mean, Jerbs is like, "Come on, Bri Bri, let's do our yeah. thing." But Bri yeah. Bri can't pick up any chips because he's only got the one finger. One finger, and then, but he, then he, learns, tries, he tries like to lick it. He's like, <laughs> and then and then he learns he learns an important lesson about the deductible. I thought he was going to learn an important lesson about chopsticks. <laughs> that too. Yeah, you know what? He learns an important lesson about cleaning out the freaking whipped cream from his microphone <laughs> because we still can't hear him at all. Really? So that's not a good idea. Did I clean it out? Actually, yeah, that worked great. That actually got it worked. <laughs> all right, perfect. Okay, so, so there we go. And that's, and that's the that, deductible. That's, a good, that, that's, that's the deductible. So it's a cliffhanger. As uh, also, by the way, we find out in the final frame, the bank robbery, the Bri Bri and the Jerbs are trying to stop, but they can't because Bri Bri has uh, gone too far to try and please his old Biscuit Fist is, uh, is uh, it's Luke, the guy that yes, we completely he's, dropped. He he's now turned to robbing yes. banks and he's got this bizarre list of things he wants to do. 
and he keeps talking about how he's going to travel the country someday, but he never does. He just starts robbing banks because he never gets it out of his system. So there we go. So that's the cliffhanger. Uh, we have the end of this four-issue arc. Uh, mm -hmm. Brett, what is the name of this final issue? Copay. Copay. Oh, no, this one's easy. All right. Here's, all right, here's the deal. Uh, opening frame. Brian, Brian the germs are panicked, right? But meanwhile, a shadowy stranger walks deus ex machina style from down a uh, down a, a, an alleyway, right? Down, yeah, where they are, out in front of the bank, and says, hello, would you like me to help you with your chips? <laughs> and, um, and, and, and Brian Brian the germs like, yes! That's what we we're trying to do. In fact, it's really stupid that I, I as the germs, didn't think to just feed the chips to Brian. <laughs> <laughs> but but this this uh, this stranger starts feeding, shoveling the chips in, in into Brian's mouth, and Brian, uh, uh, Brian, Brian just unhinges his jaw, and you just see a just a, a retarded amount of chips just go into his mouth, and uh, he just like nah, nah, nah. and as it gets more and more impressive. All of a sudden, the germ just goes again. That same, like, kind of like, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> shattering everything. Shattering windows. There's, for some reason, there's somebody, there's a young mother pushing a baby in a stroller that's made of glass. And it just shatters and the baby falls on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you just say that? All the sorts of insanity going on. I think I think the baby should shatter and the and the stroller should fall on the ground. <laughs> yeah, it turns out the baby's made of like a, a frozen potato chip. hydrogen or something. <laughs> so uh, so all of a sudden uh, we 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 foil uh, we we foil the 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 bank robbery right and uh, and 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 Bri Bri runs over there and uh, you know uh, with his one finger you know puts puts Luke as Luke is is just going crazy. There's also what you didn't realize was that part of what made him fly was that his bones were made of glass and they've shattered. <laughs> <laughs> and he's um, just sitting there. He's dying with his own bones poking out of his body, just shards everywhere. And he just, and his last words are like, I thought it was about me. And then he just dies and he's gone from the comic forever, right? Exactly. So he's dead. And then meanwhile, <laughs> Brian Ryan the gerbs are victorious. They saved the day. They've, they've passed their assessments. They're graduating superhero school. And it's all thanks to this African American gentleman that walked from down the uh, down the alleyway, and they're like, "Hey, man, thanks a lot." And he's like, "Oh, no problem. I just got here from Zimbabwe." <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, "Really?" It's like, "Yeah, I got covered in a, in a four thousand dollar milkshake, and I decided that America was where I had to pursue my dreams." And he's like, "Wow, that's an amazing story. What's your name?" Final frame. Copay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Brett, do we got a winner here? Uh, no, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, clearly, there need to be some extensive rewrites in my script <laughs> if they're ever going to match up. Uh, but that, that's really good. Also really good, this little ditty. Amtrekker blew his microphone, then got a cream pie. Hashtag, <laughs> thanks, Charlie. <laughs> thanks, Charlie. <laughs> Did somebody just put that out there? That's awesome. Uh, look, uh, I'm afraid that these, uh, these, these carnival games need to continue. If we could get um, our executioner, <clears throat> we are now four pies down since you're now up to $4,650. <laughs> so let's, we got to get with the pies because we're running out of time here. And uh, I strongly, strongly believe that you're going to end up with a, with a pants full of whipped cream. Not going to lie about it. <laughs> we, actually have, we actually have some preliminary art. Of Bri Bri oh, wow. and the germs and their amazing powers. Here you see Brian <laughs> eating. Okay, here's the thing. All I do is yell on this show, and there's no pictures of me screaming <laughs> that we can use for that picture. Well, you are, you're waiting. You're waiting until oh, I eat true. so many chips that you're amazed, and that's when you let loose the deafening roar. Oh. <laughs> All right, I think I think because we're running out of time, we might need to to round up all those pies into into one mega one pie. pants full of cream. Yeah, Wait, what? one mega pie. Oh, that that totally that's not the thing. That's oh, dude, 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, that definitely just occurred. You definitely have a full on pie in the face. You definitely, definitely got a mega pie stuck to your face right now, straight out of uh what does it say over the over the, the, the It says well there's there? an equation that says eight equals eight equals, equals D equals equals and then uh, yeah. and it says bonk on there. <laughs> also not not that this happened on purpose or anything. It landed on your but pants. There, Stand there, up. There is a there is a lot of whipped cream on my pants. Stand up. Stand All up. All right, Stand let's up. go. Let's go. All right, he, you know what? He creamed his jeans. Uh we we have. We have Justin, I need you to crank up the volume and play our song for for this guy because this is truly a momentous occasion for one Brett the Ram Trekker Alceville. Here we go. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Colleen just shoved the cream he had in his hand on his crotch. <laughs> oh, so good. Oh, so well, they good. were a little taller. Uh, if I had a girl, I would call her. <laughs> uh, well, I think we we I think we've had a lot of success here. Uh, <laughs> I think we today. clearly have. Well, we had a lot of something. We, uh, I'll tell you what, we fixed a uh, fledgling project. You know, we, uh, we did some rewrites. Now I know what the Weinsteins feel like. You come in, you flaunt your money around, and you just muck stuff up. You just ruin it for everyone and, and tell them they made it better. And they're like, what are they going to say? And there we go. And then the King's Speech wins an Oscar. See, <laughs> it's just it's that easy. See, it's freaking simple. Uh, all right, Brett, so where can people see you here in the future? More importantly, where do I pick up the provider's Oscar? Because I think my pants earned it. I believe you, sir. Uh, w would you ask me something about finding me? Yeah, where, where can people look you up? And then I guess if you want to donate or check out the idea of the provider, head on over to, to kickstarter.com and uh, do a search for uh, the provider and you'll be in there. Is there anything else people should know about it, Brett? Uh, well, I mean, as always, you can it's find happening. me on Twitter right. as Amtrekker, A-M-T-R-E-K-K-E-R. -E -E and um, luckily, Brett just caught. <laughs> In the face! In the face! Um, wow, you definitely... I would not. <laughs> oh, gee, like this face. And we've come full circle, Brian. The circle of life. <laughs> and it licks a face, yeah. <laughs> it's a pie on the head. I, I feel like I have cataracts, but I think it's just whipped cream on my contacts. <laughs> uh, okay, so what, what I wanted to say, Justin... While, uh, while our guest cleans himself up. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. There's one thing that's never really made sense that I can finally play. Put it on Brett. What is wrong with your face? Yeah! <laughs> finally in context. Finally a reason for me to play that drop. <laughs> finally. Uh, finally. Uh, hey, so what I was going to say is we were gonna, I was going to go to Twitter.com and see if we've got any good thanks, Charlies, before we wrap things up here. You got any, uh, anything else? Uh, yes. Well, folks, of course, follow me, uh, Justin R. Young on Twitter. I'm going to be giving away $4 million every day this week. So, uh, you have to follow me to win. That's again, $4 million that I'll be giving away of unsecured, unmarked bills. If you follow me at Justin R. Young, uh, dot com. And that's an absolutely, you can't, you can't claim that. You can't claim that because you're not going to do that. That's, that's a lie. Oh, I'm, I'm giving away $4 million of my own money, uh, every day. You don't week. have so $4, five, dollars, much less I $4 have, million. I have four million dollars per day that I'm going to be giving away. So, so there we go. Follow me, Justin R. Young on Twitter, and uh, yeah, I'll tell you what. Here's the big deal. I'm going to be all through Texas next week with Andrew Main. Of course, you've seen on this show, and if you listen to the Weird Things podcast, he's the third man on the Weird Things podcast. We're gonna. Uh, he is, of course, a prolific magic uh, creator and performer, and uh, we're going to be doing magic lectures in in this order: Dallas. San Antonio, Austin, and Houston. The Houston lecture is FRWE free, folks. Uh, all you got to do is head over to andrewmain.com slash lecture, and you can find all the dates there. And uh, Bri, I know you and a lot of the other uh, 
chat round people like uh, P. Delahenty and yep. Vincent 404 are going to be at the Austin lecture. So Absolutely. make sure that you show up uh, to that one if uh, you want to get that experience. And Absolutely. then we're going to be at South by. Yep, What's South by Southwest. We got all kinds of amazing Twit coverage coming up. Uh, we also have this tweet that just showed up. Uh, Charlie Sheen turned me on to the Doobie Brothers. I subsequently brought, <laughs> bought Blackwater. Thanks, Charlie. So we've got that going for us. Uh, so there we go. Uh, yeah, definitely tune in. Uh, let me tell you one thing I'm doing that's a little bit kind of quirky is we're going live at the darndest time. Now that the Justin TV app and the Ustream app works over 3G, uh, we've been sharing some crazy adventures. So if you're somebody who wants to see just a lot of nothing, then make sure to check me out on Justin.tv. But also make sure to follow me at Schwood on Twitter. That's at S-H-W-O-O-D. All right. Are we, are we wrapping it up? Is this it? Oh, I'm sorry. I was dealing with the whipped cream on my pants. What happened? <laughs> Look, we look forward to <laughs> Tony, I censor that. Censored. Okay. There you go. Why? Oh, Brett, why would you say that same horrific curse word yeah. again? Don't you? Yeah. Why? Do you have a father? So f uh, well, uh, yeah. I, I think the only thing that could... Uh, oh, you know what? I'm sorry. Late breaking news. Special report. You're at 4,700, so I'm afraid that's one more pie. <laughs> That's coming at you. As soon as we can see that pie, we got to wrap things up because we have got to get out. Actually, two more pies, but I have a feeling it'll be one very one super big, big one. double I don't think stuff. there's time for any more pies. I don't think... <laughs> <laughs> that one was really wet. Oh, my God! <laughs> that one was real wet. And with that, it's time to, to wrap this episode up of NSFW. It's skipping off his face! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's just this is this is uh, so long, ladies and gentlemen. This was a hell of a time. I'll uh, see you next Tuesday, people. Dying of fire. Fire free. Oh my god, Brett, bro. Dude, that was a little bit epic. Plus, awesome, simultaneously amazing. Guess you'll be, uh, <laughs> guess you'll be washing those gems, <laughs> washing them in your monies. <laughs> All right, uh, I guess. Oh, we got to do a billboard. All right. This episode of NSFW brought to you by Squarespace.com. Head on over to Squarespace.com/NSFW. <laughs> Not only will you get Okay, Brett, you can't laugh during my read. Why are you laughing? <laughs> I didn't mean to. It was an accident because Colleen offered me a, a change. <laughs> you know, we could still get to 5,000, Brett. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to laugh. It'll All never right. happen again. <clears throat> this episode of NSFW brought to you by Squarespace. Dot com. Head on over to Squarespace. Dot com. Trust them. 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 Oh, I hold on. Wait a minute. I gotta find this thing. You know, you're listening. Double complete. Rainbow. All right. This episode of Scam School. Bro Double complete. Rainbow. <laughs> <laughs>